In this video, I will show you how to sort text in Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Word working on this very important document. And at the very bottom of this essay or paper, I have a list of 100 bands that are considered to be part of the new wave music genre. And as you can see, it includes many wonderful bands. But now that this list is in my document, let's say I decide I wish that it were alphabetized from A to Z. Imagine how much work this is going to be for me to identify which of these bands should be at the very top of the list, starting with A. Maybe it's this one, maybe it's this one. There's all sorts of bands starting with A that I'll need to cut and then paste at the top of this list. And then bands that end with X or Z or Y, I'm going to have to cut and paste toward the bottom of the list and so forth. This is going to take me at least 10 to 20 minutes to reorder this list of 100 bands. At least it would take me that long, except for the fact that Microsoft Word has a built-in tool that lets you sort text. It works very similarly to sorting in Microsoft Excel. Let's take a look. So step one for me is to select the text that I want to reorder and sort alphabetically. So I'll click and drag to select talking heads and I'll just browse all the way down this document. As you can see, some fantastic bands are included in this list and now I'm to the very bottom of the list. With that list of bands highlighted, all I have to do is go to the Home tab, and here in the Paragraph group, you'll find this button, Sort, and it indicates A to Z. I get a little description that pops up. It says, when you do a sort, you'll arrange the current selection in alphabetical or numerical order. So if these bands were numbered at the beginning, then it would be ordered from the smallest number to the biggest number. As it says here, this is especially useful if you're trying to organize data in a table. I'm sure that's true, but let's look at it in this case. So with that text highlighted, I'll click on the sort button and I get a pop-up that lets me decide what to sort. Do I want to sort the paragraphs that are selected or chapter headings or fields? In this case, I'm gonna choose paragraphs. Each of these bands is basically in its own paragraph. And what type of sort is this? It's a text sort. If I wanted it to be though, I could change it to be a number sort or a date sort. Next, I need to decide, is the order gonna be descending or ascending? Of course, with ascending, you start with the lowest number or the earliest letter in the alphabet, so A, and then you work your way up through Z. With descending, it's the opposite. You would start with Z and then work your way down to A. So I'm gonna select ascending. If I have my data in a table, it is possible for me to, once I've sorted by paragraphs, to then sort by another column in my table and then by yet another column in the table. So these would help to break ties between two bands that maybe have the same name. So that's definitely something to try out if you're working in a table. Notice that it also says my list has a header row. In my case, there is no header row. So what is that talking about? It's talking about the fact that sometimes when you have data in your document, there might be a header row that says band name, and then maybe another column or heading for the year that the band was formed or how many albums they produced. So if there is a header row, it's important for Word to know that so that it doesn't sort the header row into the data. At this point, I'm happy with my selections, so I'm going to click OK. Okay, and let's take a look at the results. Now when I browse up to the top of my list, you can see that I have a flock of seagulls at the top, Adam and the ants underneath, and it continues down the list all the way to Yazoo. So that worked beautifully. Now I want to point out, when you click this sort button, you also get options. If you check the options, you can separate the different fields based on tabs or commas or other. In my case, I have these dashes, but other than that, there's nothing separating these fields, I suppose. Next, if you want to, you can make the sort case sensitive. I'm not gonna worry about that. Now this time, I'm gonna sort descending. Click OK. 
And you can see what we get. Now my list starts with Yazoo and XTC and ends with a flock of seagulls. So I hope you can see how this sort button in Microsoft Word can be helpful whenever you're creating a list or a table of data. It's a very important tool. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the very best way you can do that in most cases is to become a channel member. You'll be supporting my channel while also getting some nice perks, including access to my monthly behind the scenes members only podcast. You can also support me by clicking the thanks button below the video or through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch and you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video. And I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of my super techie supporters. You see the list there on the screen. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel.